Zero is in the Winding Cove and the EDZ is currently selling the Future War Cult armor. I am not the biggest fan of this armor. I will be showcasing it right now. Uh, just be aware, we're going to start with Hunter, Titan, and then Warlock. Also, before I actually show you the armor, let me show you something real quick. If you want to get the Future War Cult armor without the Future War Cult insignia then you're going to want to go to nessus because that's where the original armor comes from technically i say technically because they're both from vanilla destiny 2 but this is the first armor you armor say you got or you saw because uh factions didn't come out until like way later so that's why i say technically it's the first armor set uh yeah go to fail safe she sells all of the pieces without the future future cult insignia and that's why i'm a really big fan of it but here's the armor sets. Uh, Hunters, I definitely think the helmet is really cool. The arms are pretty cool. Chest piece can be used if you lean into the wiring. Uh, and that's for all of the classes. If you lean into the wiring, you can do some really cool things. And then the boots are cool as well. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I've seen people do some cool stuff with it. And the cloak is legit legitimately one of my favorite cloaks in the game because the unfortunate thing is the red wiring on the actual hood doesn't change color, but I actually take out the hood so you don't see that at all. And I've made some dope sets with it. Titans, I think the only cool pieces from this whole set is gonna be everything but the arm. I think the arms are kind of boring, but the helmet you can use for a tactical look. Boots, uh, you can use for like a night look. The chest piece definitely can make some cool sets if you lean into the wiring. And the mark I also think is really cool. And funnily enough, is a reskin of the Crucible armor. Uh, actually, I can show you guys right now before I forget, because I do think it's genuinely funny that they did that. So it's going to be for the binary binary Phoenix mark, which same same sides, same strand. And then from here, it's just literally cut in half. And then the other side is going to take it. So if you are interested, that there is that. Uh, Warlocks, I think the helmet is really cool. I think the arms are kind of forgettable. Chess piece is really cool, especially if you lean into the wi wiring, like I said, for all the classes. Um, the boots are kind of boring and the bond is kind of boring as well. But other than that, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. Like I said, I would definitely pick up, pick up the Nessus stuff first and then go to this stuff later. Just because that's just how I would do it. Because I, again, not the biggest fan of the future War Cult stuff. As for the weapons, we're going to be looking at Tears of Contrition, Triple Tap and Explosive Payload, which is actually pretty decent. We have a 7 Serif SI2 with Hipfire Grip and element Elemental Capacitor, Extraordinary Rendition with Firmly Planted and One for All, Iota Draconis, Ensemble and Harmony, Harmony? Yeah, Harmony. Uh, Hollow Denial, Left from Gold and Repulsor Brace, Interference VI VI1, and Who's Gal. Uh, Interference has Grave Robber and Swash, which in any other gun would be dope. Uh, who's gal with quick draw and underdog. So funnily enough, you can probably just pick up five of these and then just use your uh, whatever the fuck it's called. I forget what it's called. Uh, this one right here, deep side harmonizer harmonizer and just stockpile them until you have five and then just do that if you really wanted to. Or you can do the hollow denial because the hollow, the hollow denial and tears of contrition are both red border weapons. Other than that, uh, I would skip a lot of these weapons. We have Hawkmoon with snapshot sights and then Trinity Ghoul for the other exotic, which is interesting. For the armor exotics, we got Young Ahamkara Spine. Ooh, unfortunately, it got nerfed fucking hard. So I don't know if people are going to be grabbing this or in the mood to grab it. We have Crest of Alpha Lupi, um, which <laughs> 30 strength naturally is kind of filthy. And then Ophidian Aspect. Honestly, this is a pretty dope Ophidian Aspect role. Uh, I would just bump up that recovery to a plus 10. So that way it would be a 20, 25, 12, 4, and 22 when, ma when master works. So I am definitely going to pick this up because it's pretty foul. Um, that being said, I don't even know what my, my current Ophidian aspect is. Ooh, mm, let me see. Let me see. I'll grab it, but I, I don't think it's as good as the one I have currently. Uh, let's see what exotic I get. Paragon Greaves, huh? Okay. I can't look at it. Um, so that is pretty much it. Uh, this armor is, I finally got all of the Biosphere stuff for the Titans. I got it for all the classes. I, I already am making the review for the armor. I am already, I already have the shader video done 
and I'm currently working on the individual sets. And if you guys know how my workflow goes, is that my hunter is usually first that does all of the individual sets or anything really, and then my Titan and then my Warlock. So you've seen my Titan already looking like this means that my hunter's already done as well. So we have a bunch of stuff that we're currently working on. <laughs> um, we're working on the shader videos because I am working on the season pass shaders, the playlist shaders, the iron banner shaders, and then some other things as well. Specifically, we're going to be reviewing the weapons from this season. Um, I ended up getting some Warden, Warden's Laws, which we might review, maybe. I want to get back into weapon reviewing because I I just miss it. I, I think it's genuinely fun. That being said, don't expect anything like Astacross level like analysis. I'm just going to be like up front and be like, honestly, this gun kind of sucks dick. And I'm not going to explain why. It's more of a just like, I don't like how it feels or something like that. Uh, mostly because when I used to do the weapon reviews, a lot of people actually like them because I was just straight to the point. Like I understand that <clears throat> a lot of the analysis is important and whatnot, but if the gun feels like ass, I'm going to just tell you that like for me, Warden's law kind of feels like ass right now. That being said, I still have to practice with it a little bit more just because I'm, I haven't used this weapon in forever, but the initial like reaction, my gut reaction was, wow, I hate this gun. So. It's better than before, but again, it's more of a, I just need to practice with it because that two burst is, it feels weird. It feels really, really weird. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see any other content, let me know in the comments below. Don't worry. I'm not, I've not forgotten about the exotic videos. I'm currently just working on trying to shove as much stuff as I can for the season and then we'll do the exotics. And it's not going to be like last season where I completely forgot. I am currently working on those exotic videos it's just that i have a lot of them like not not only did a lot of people ask for them but i also have just put in some as well that i wanted to do so i have like a lot of exotics that i'm currently going to be doing so if you ask for an exotic don't worry i've not forgotten i have it in my list and yeah again if you have any comments concerns anything like that just let me know in the comments below and i'll, I'll just yeah I'll respond so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later